Deploying and managing apps shouldn't feel like a chore. You shouldn't have to bounce between a terminal, a dashboard, and a bunch of scripts just to ship something. In this walkthrough, I'll show you how to set up DigitalOcean's MCP server to speed through building, deploying, and managing apps all from within Cursor using just plain natural language. We'll set up the MCP server together, create and deploy a real React app, make a change to it, redeploy it, and check the logs while we are doing all of this, all from within Cursor. I'm starting here on the DigitalOcean MCP server GitHub repo. You can see everything you need is here. There is a full list of tools, some examples, setup instructions, and steps for the different clients. The first thing you will need is Node.js and NPM installed. You will also need a DigitalOcean personal access token with app platform scopes assigned to it. And finally, I'll be using Cursor as my MCP client, but you can use any of these supported MCP clients like Cloud Desktop, Cloud Code, WinSurf. Now this one is optional, but having GitHub CLI set up on your machine is very helpful for cloning repos, creating projects, and working with other GitHub-based apps. The first thing we need is a DigitalOcean personal access token. So I'll go ahead and generate that now. I'm on the DigitalOcean API token page and I'll create a new token called DOMCP demo and make sure all the app platform scopes are selected. Once I click generate, the token appears and I'll copy it in just a second after we wire up the config. Back in the GitHub repo, I'll copy the JSON config snippet. Then in cursor, I'll go to settings, cursor settings, MCP, add a new global MCP server, which opens up the config file. I'll paste the snippet in, go back to the browser to copy the token and drop that in place of the placeholder here. Save the file, close the tab, and now we are connected. You'll see the DigitalOcean MCP server listed. Now, if I hover over it, I see all the tools available. Things like list apps, create app, get app, download logs, get instance size by slug. So now that it's set up, let's test it out. Let's type list all the active apps I have on my DigitalOcean account. Now behind the scenes, Cursor picks the list apps tool from the MCP server and sends a structured request to the API. The server calls the DigitalOcean API, gets a response and passes it back. And here are all my apps listed in Cursor. So that's working. Let's build something now. I'll say create a simple Hello World React app using CSS bootstrap styling. Now, since I'm running in agent mode, Cursor starts building the project automatically. It then tells me the app is ready and I can run it with npm install and npm start. And the app spins up on localhost 3000. Okay, that's great. We have the app running here. Let's deploy it. So I'm going to say, let's deploy this app to DigitalOcean's app platform using the smallest instance size in the NYC region. Now, this time, Cursor first uses the MCP tool list instance sizes to fetch all the available options for me. And and this is important because normally I would have to just dig through docs for this. And then it calls the create app tool to start creating the app and get ready for deploying. And you can see the instance size slug is selected exactly the way I wanted. It then tells me that it needs to push the app to GitHub to deploy it from there. Now I already have GitHub CLI installed and authenticated. So I'm just going to say, let's push it. Now, a few things happen here. It initializes the repo. It adds all the files and commits all the files and then pushes it. There's a repo that all the commits have been pushed to. And it confirms that the app is now being deployed to DigitalOcean's app platform. And here is it confirming that the smallest instance was used and the region was NYC, exactly the way I want it. Let's switch over to the DigitalOcean app platform dashboard. And sure enough, a new app called Hello World React Bootstrap is being built right now. And we'll speed through this process of building and deploying. And there's the app. It's live now. So let's click on that link. And there it is, the Hello World React app built and deployed onto DigitalOcean's app platform using that MCP server. Now back in Cursor, let's ask for the logs for the last deployment. It pulls all the logs using the MCP tool and everything looks good. Now I'm going to ask, let's make the page feel a bit more modern, like a SaaS landing page. Now cursor makes the updates to app.js and index.html and let's accept the changes and it automatically does a git add and commit for me. Let's test the app locally and there's the updated page. Let's go back to cursor and ask it to push it to the app platform. Now, since the app already exists, this time it calls the create deployment tool to update the app. The app is getting built again. We'll speed through that process. And there it is. The app is live. And just like before, once it's live, I click the link 
and I now see the updated version. New layout, a bit cleaner look, and it's deployed to the app platform so it's accessible on the internet. That's it. From zero to deployed, all from within Cursor using DigitalOcean's MCP server. If you want to try it out, head over to the GitHub repo, grab your API token, wire it up in Cursor, and start building. If you hit an issue or want to request a new tool that you feel should be included in this workflow, please open an issue. We would love to hear what you're building with it. And thanks for watching.